All right, so what's up, guys? Home, and um, something came in the mail. We're going to talk about that here in a sec. But I want to give a major shout-out to the RC Hunter because he was the one that convinced me to buy this drone. And he dropped some awesome links, found a really great deal for me. Like I said, we'll talk about all that. And somebody else did, too. Somebody else dropped the same link, too. Um, I don't remember who it was. Maybe it was Blazing All Day might have sent it to me. can't remember if I got it wrong. I apologize. Um, but yeah, I know that RC Hunter dropped it and uh, he was really looking out for me when I said I was looking for another drone. I said I wanted to spend 400, maybe a little more than 400 and I got away with it for a little more than 400. I spent $430 and let's, uh, let's go take a look at this thing. But RC Hunter was the one that gave me this deal in the end. He was the one that really talked me through it, convinced me that it was a good deal. It's a competitor for DJI products. So naturally I listened to him. And uh, it's out in the garage right now. Let's go unbox this puppy. What's up, guys? Look what arrived. Do you see this? This came in so much earlier than expected. This is crazy. This is my new drone. I am going to open this in the garage instead of my normal spot because something interesting happened when I brought this inside the house. It's got me a little scared, but we'll see. So I was bringing this inside the house and all of a sudden a baby roach came out of the box. Let's just say I was a little disgusted. <laughs> but that being said, I hope there's not a whole family in here. I hope it was just a packaging error sitting in a, you know, either in the, I don't know, UPS truck that dropped it off or sitting in the warehouse. It got some nasty bugs inside of it. Let's hope that's not the case. Let's hope it was just one that on accident hitched a ride, okay? We're going to cut this open, and if this does have a family of roaches, this is going back to where it came from. I'll tell you the whole story about this, but let's go ahead and uh, take my trusty little knife here, cut this open, and have a look inside. Oh, excellent. <laughs> All right. I don't see any roaches. They seem to be good so far. Okay. Let me put this, uh, here, we'll just pocket this for now. Ah, this is awesome that my drone came with this. If you guys see what it says here, it definitely says Typhoon. This is the steady cam. This is really cool. This allows me to put my phone in here, dictate different camera modes. I can mount the gimbal for my Typhoon. Uh, I believe this is the Typhoon G, I want to say. G? Yes, G. <laughs> um, I need to look inside because this is supposed to be the 4K version and this says G, so we may still have an issue here, but we'll see. Um, I'll open all this up in a minute, but I don't think so because this might actually have the gimbal for the 4K unit inside of here, not just the steady cam. So let's have a look. <coughs> Dig into this first. This is a pretty nice case, guys. This is very rugged looking. Let's see what we got in here. We absolutely have the 4K. GD03 camera with Steadicam, so they did send me the 4K version. 4K, baby, 4K. My phone obviously goes in here. I'll have to see how all this works. That's really nice. Look at this. This is going to make for awesome recording. I am totally digging this. And uh, looks like it just clips in and clips out. The wires are not in there, so I'm guessing I need to dig a little bit to figure out the wire situation. And I don't see a gimbal lock which is unfortunate. Let me just carefully put all this back. So that is the CGO3 4K camera. And really, my steady cam has a rechargeable battery. That is new. The other one took double A's. That's awesome. I'm really digging that. This is a super nice case for transport. This is crazy. Unique. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's put this aside for a sec. And, ah, can't forget that. That's important. Let's go ahead and pull this box out. Oh, set it up here. Let's see what we need to do to open this. Typhoon G. 
All right. Let's see how this. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's not get confused here. Let's have a look inside here for the presentation. Let's see. Thank you. Typhoon G printed. They just did this on computer paper. Okay, so to let you guys know, okay, congratulations. Thank you for purchasing your unique drone. We would like to make sure you have a great experience with our product. Please contact us if you need any assistance with setup. We hope you experience with your new drone. Thank you, Drone Worship. Wow, they got that right. Surprising. Okay, Typhoon G 4K combo. Let's go ahead and set this aside. Let me show you guys this presentation. This actually looks like a pretty nice setup. Now, the version that I was looking at actually had like a case that it came in, which was pretty cool. Fortunately, this one just came with what looks like foam, but I guess they sell something at Home Depot that this foam, foam case fits perfectly inside of for like 35 bucks. So we'll probably just do that. Um, if the case that they sell is not uh, cheaper than the <laughs> Home Depot one, just need something rugged. So this is a really nice presentation. I'm feeling this, man. This nice printout tells you all your Typhoon GRTF aircraft with install GBT-03. I need to look all of this up. I've been trying to study this, but there were so many different models of this unique that I really didn't know what I was going to be getting or what to expect. So I took it slow. I did order another accessory for this called the Wizard Wand, which apparently can control the drone just with this little black wand up to like 1300 feet or something crazy and uh great for follow me mode just throw it in your pocket and walk you don't have to have the sd10 ground station with you but uh let's go ahead and take this out i'm digging the presentation totally this is uh this is crazy um all the manuals we'll get a chance to look at those in a little bit let's set those down 10 inch blades guys 10 inch blades these are ridiculously large Looks like I get a set of, uh, uh, basically two sets of blades. Um, all four, so two sets of four. Um, and that's obviously clockwise and counterclockwise. Accessories says, make sure to watch the instructional video on the SD card included in this box. So apparently they sent me an SD card for the 4K as well. A high transfer rate SD card. We will look at all that here in a sec. Let's go ahead and remove this top layer and get into the actual drone. Oh, look at this, this is cool. How does this work? Oh, that is awesome. They include a sun guard. That is cool. You don't have to go out and purchase a sun guard, a sunshade for it, that is cool. And uh, I guess these just stick on the screen maybe? That's awesome. I'm really actually digging that, that they did that. This is going to be kind of hard to get back in. <laughs> Alright, get in there. There we go. Alright, we're good. Let's see if I can remove this top layer here. Set this aside. We're running out of space to set things here. Stay. <laughs> oh my god, this looks fantastic, you guys. This looks incredible. Okay. So, let me just tilt this. Oh, look at that, man. That is just awesome. <sighs> look at the size of those batteries. What do we got? 5400 3S 11.1. Lithium polymer. This side up. So, apparently they put it in the... Oh, well, anyways. All good. Look at the size of this bird, man. This is crazy. And, and they included a... a a gimbal setup for a GoPro with the wire attachment in case I wanted to run a GoPro instead of the CGO3. That is cool. That is really cool that they did that. All right, so this is the Typhoon G. I thought I was going to end up with the Q500. That's what I purchased was the Q500. Somehow I ended up with the Typhoon G. I'm not upset. They're almost like the identical model. Um, and I can do the firmware update to this to make this operate as good as the Q500. But uh, let's see if we can pull this out here. Oh, I'm digging this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing is huge. This thing is huge. This is crazy. Look at that, man. I got two gimbals. One for each 
I did not expect them to send me both gimbals, one for an actual camera uh, of your choice and then a, and the actual CGO3. That is really ridiculous that they did that. Um, so just so you guys understand, I bought this refurbished, 80% refurbished, and it looks brand new. So they did a really good job with this. Um, it looks incredible if it's refurbished. So this is a big bird. I'm a big guy. This is a huge bird, man. This is crazy. So let's go ahead and set this down. Oh, see, I'm like a little kid. I get excited for these things. I got two batteries, apparently. It looks like they sent me, oh, no. What did we get? Oh, really? We only got one battery? Grr. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'll order another battery. I could have sworn they said it came with two batteries. Let's pull out the ground station here. Holy crap, I got another steady cam. Really? I got a heck of a deal, you guys. I got two steady cams. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm totally blown away right now. This one looks like it's different, though. This one takes rechargeable batteries. Let's see, press, oh, okay. So this is the one that's supposed to come with it. They sent me an entirely different setup. I got the works with this package. I paid $430 for this whole setup. This is nuts. <laughs> this is, I was not expecting to get this much stuff, to be honest with you guys, I'm kind of blown right now. This is really crazy. I have no idea how to get this back in. I shouldn't have tampered with it. <laughs> Oh man, okay, well that worked, excellent. Let's go ahead and just put that right back where it came from while I have a chance to go through all of this stuff. Look at this ground station. It's got a built-in Android screen right in the transmitter. This is the ST10 Plus, that is awesome. I thought I was only gonna get the ST10. This is a major upgrade for me. Like they sent me everything for this. So if you guys weren't aware, this, the basically the unique, is a competitor for the Advanced 3, okay? For the uh, Phantom Advanced 3 and the Pro. This has basically the same features except no waypoints, no obstacle avoidance, which I don't think the Phantom 3 Advanced has that either, or the Pro, um, but it does not have waypoints. But from what I heard, the uh, Typhoon, Unique Typhoon, any of them all had superior basically camera like the it just the cameras on them are just incredible so um i compared footage between the advanced three and the unique typhoon and i noticed the entire time that the unique had much more vibrant colors much more dynamics it just it it, it just looked crazy good so this is awesome that they have included this i'm going to go ahead and pull this off here so we can take a look at the screen <laughs> oh gosh, I'm a kid on Christmas right now. This transmitter is actually pretty darn advanced. It's got, uh, looks like camera gimbal adjustment, um, rabbit slow speed, high speed. I have, uh, what is it, start camera, start picture, and then it's got smart angle and home, which it's in home right now. We'll probably start at an angle just so I don't forget. Um, and I need to go through the entire manual and read about this because this is one very advanced transmitter. It has tons of settings and options. So, like, I'm actually really excited for this, but this is going to take some time to actually read about this and find out everything that it's capable of, find out if I need to do firmware updates. I have no idea. Okay, there were, there were a couple different models of the Unique put out. Let's see if I can put this back in there correctly. Looks good to me. Um, they had the Unique... Q500, uh, which came out in 2015, then they did an upgrade model of the Q500, and then I believe this is the Typhoon G, um, and I don't know if this is an older model or the newer model of the Typhoon G, I think this is the 2016 model, don't quote me on that, but they also came out with the 2016 Typhoon Q500, so I don't know which model is better, I'm going to have to do a little research. This thing looks actually super advanced and it is huge. It's, it's just a very large bird. These motors are just very big. They're very big motors. They feel good. 
I'm, I'm really digging this. There's a ton more stuff in this package, guys. I'm not really going to dig any deeper. I want to do a quick unboxing for you, make sure there were no roaches in it. This thing looks primo. I'm guessing something made its way in there during packaging or sitting in the warehouse. I have no idea. But this looks fantastic. Um, I don't think I could have asked for more. So let's go ahead and uh, put this back in the package here. I'm going to go ahead and take all this stuff inside the house. And we're going to have a deeper in-depth look at it. There's chargers in here, cables, there's, I don't even know what half this stuff is. I'm going to, oh, this is for the GoPro uh, connection. If I had a GoPro mount, or if I put a GoPro in there, this is to attach it to the um, gimbal system so that I'll have FPV on my monitor. That's cool. So, guys, I paid $430 for this refurbished. They gave me the works. The only thing I'm irritated about is that it looks like it only comes with the one battery. Now, I could be wrong. I suppose I could take this out real quick. If I can get it out of here now. Put it lock it in there. There we go. Let's see if there's a battery in here. It doesn't feel heavy enough to have a battery in it, though. Nope, no battery. So it looks like they only sent me one battery with this setup. But they made up for it by giving me two steady cams, which is awesome. So, this is Drone Worship. This is my new, unique Typhoon G, big boy, professional quadcopter, and uh, if you guys didn't know, I will be doing, uh, I'm actually getting ready to take my uh, courses for my drone license so that I can start working for real estate companies and property development, and I can get out of what I'm doing right now for a job, and hopefully make a lot more money. So, this is the initial unboxing. I'm Drone Worship. I will catch you guys tomorrow. I have a very busy couple days. Um, I will not get an opportunity to even, like, basically have a look at this thing or try to fly it until probably Monday because my hours over the next two days are just crazy. I am really surprised this came in so soon, but it did, and that's awesome. And uh, I tried to knock the unboxing out as quick as I could for you just to show you guys the general idea of what comes in this. There's, like I said, there's other chargers and cables, and I'm sure there's even more hidden stuff I need to look at. But, uh... We will do that at a later date. I just want to show you the box, the setup, the controller. Try the controller. I always do that. I'm so used to saying controller. The transmitter and uh, the two steady cams with the CGO3 camera. That is awesome. That is awesome that they give you all this stuff. Um, unfortunately, the link that I bought this from is gone, so you guys cannot purchase it from the same link. I've been back there two or three times to try to offer everyone the same deal if they brought it up again. Um, I was unable to find the deal again. But if I do happen to see another deal, this is a very professional bird. It takes very professional footage. So this will be really fun to play with. I'm very interested to see how this is going to function. And at some point, I want to do a comparison. And I know they're both out of each other's leagues. I know that the H501S is, is way out of the league of this. But this has a 25-minute flight time. The Hubson gets about a 20-minute flight time. What I want to do is compare the cameras, okay? I want to put that in 1080 at 30 and put this at 1080 and 30 and see how they do. Now, I understand one is going to have kind of choppy frame rate, but let's compare the functionality. I think they both have about the same functions. Now, I do know this does have follow me mode and circle me mode. Um, I'm not, I need to look at the follow me mode to see if it actually, like if you go past it, if it like circles around and comes behind you and then goes in front of you, I'm not quite sure. Some of the newer firmware updates say that they fixed a lot of that stuff so that you can do cooler stuff with these things. So I'm really gonna have to, like I said, this is all the beginning of what I'm gonna have to learn with this. This is a very big quad. Um, right now these go for about $899. Um, last year they were about $1,300. I got it refurbished for $430 with all the stuff you see here. So, pretty fantastic deal. Um, I wish it came with two batteries. It doesn't. It looks like they only gave me the one, so I am going to have to order another battery. Where the other battery slot is, they shoved the GoPro stuff in there. So, unfortunate, but is what it is. Well, there you go, guys. The unique 4K Typhoon G with the ST10 Plus transmitter here. You might lean that back so you can have a look at it. Look how clean. We're going to go ahead and just turn it on and uh, see how beast mode it is. Oh, wow, right off the bat, unique. Oh, it sounds like a fan is running. There is. Absolutely is. There's a wow, that was really loud. 
there's a fan running inside this. Apparently it requires, it gets hot enough that it requires a fan. Looks like you can plug in for firmware updates and charging. This thing is wicked. Oh, look at this. This is crazy. Oh, apparently I have to have the drone on for it to connect for the first time. So we'll go ahead and not do that. It says initializing. Welcome pilot. This is really cool. I am totally digging this. So there you go, guys. That is the new monstrosity. And uh, I will catch you guys on the flip. Toodaloo.